Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we wanted to film a little video of products that we've hit pan on, which we have a nice little array here. So if you're interested to see what the products are, then just keep on watching. Okay, and to get our um, one and only eyeshadow palette we've hit pan on out of the way, um, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. We have hit pan on this, this guy, um, mostly the shade Pukey and Cream something, I think. Um, these two have pretty good dents in it. Well, this one has pretty good a pretty good dent. This uh, beam, oh, beam. Oh yeah, I like beam a lot. Um, this is definitely one of those staple palettes. I think everybody could use every time we like freelance and do weddings and stuff. We always bring this palette and well, Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona. <laughs> Um, but this is just a staple palette. I think if the eyeshadow, um, I haven't used it in a minute. I'm going to try it out again. But if the eyeshadows are expiring, Vic thinks they may be, um, I'm buying another one because I really love this palette. But um, we also did hit pan on Modern Renaissance by ABH, but we decluttered that one because we only used it for the shade Love Letter, pretty much. <laughs> and then the... Uh... <laughs> The NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Vanilla, we have hit pan on this. This is actually in our project pan, which we're like half committed to really. <laughs> We've just been kind of doing like our own one rather than committing to specific, I don't know. It's been kind of rotating, but... Um, we've been, Rachel's been using this as an eyeshadow base and it's been working pretty well. But. Yeah, my eyeshadows haven't creased. Like I've, I've been wearing this all day since like, I don't know, like 9.30 maybe and it's what, like 6.30 right now? I got no idea. I don't know, it's like 6.30 I think. But it hasn't creased in, and I didn't even set it. Every time I use concealer, my eyeshadows like <laughs> creases. That stuff's doing good and I, I have another one in the shade Custard, but that one's lighter so I used it to make things pop. Um, I did, um, hit, um, pan on my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, um, and by pan I mean scraped the whole bottom. Um, I don't know, I'll zoom in. Can you see that? I don't know if you can with the lights, but all that's left is some crusties along the side, and I'm gonna use it. Um, I love this primer. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. I really want to, but I'm gonna wait a minute because I've been using more light coverage dewy foundations, which I don't need this for makes them look better, but it's not necessary for my smile line, so love her. And then we have uh, hit major pan on our brow pomades from Anastasia. Um, we have taupe and what's that, soft brown? Ash brown. Ash brown. Um, so apparently here's taupe. Oh, here's ash brown. Um, I don't use this so much anymore. I've just been trying to run through brow pencils and every time I'm done with one, I get another one in a subscription box. And it's been very frustrating, but I do like this product. It's really good. I had to re like mix it. Yeah, remix it. I used some baby oil, and that seemed to do the trick. So need some of those those drops. I don't know what they are, but I know people use them to make the pomade last. The pomade's a little bit too sheer for me now. The taupe one, at least. So if I it try, it's fine for me. If I try and make any sort of arch, which I don't normally do, but sometimes I like a little bit of. To my brows every time i do that it's just like a patch it's like an arch with nothing so it's very frustrating so i don't know yet we'll figure that out so these nyx three steps to sculpt palettes are absolutely phenomenal um i love them very much um this one's the one that i would typically use i don't use it much anymore because um i feel like the yellow darkens my eyes but i don't know my under eyes but it's been a minute since i've tried it but I loved this shade for my under eyes and for carving out under my jaw with a sponge. Um, it was lovely, if you can tell. The only I've only used these two. I don't touch the highlighter. It's a no. Um, and then the lighter shade we have, well, this one's in fair. This one is in light. Okay, that is not a light contour. That's medium. Whatever. Um, this one's in fair and the under eye setting powder is lovely as well. I did use that today because I used a too dark foundation and it's lovely. I really like these powders. Ah. Um, and then the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Contour Palettes. Uh, we used to have like four of these. Uh, I loved these for the longest time and I still do. I use the contour shade a lot. Um, I use this under my eyes today and it looks fine. It's just not my favorite anymore. Um, this one's in Dolce de Leche. I wait. You don't. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Peeled off. I don't know. 
but this one is the one the second one the second one with the yellow um i used to love this i used to be a lifeguard and so way back when i had super bronzed skin i was oh i was gorgeous i was lovely and then i died but but I used to love this powder. It used to make my under eyes so freaking bright. I used to do like the full on Kim K white under eye thing with this. Um, but yeah, I love these contour palettes. The formula is really good. They're like five bucks. So love these. And then this used to be a fave. I, I only use the light shade to set under my eyes now, but I might try and use this again on a day that I'm lazy. Um, this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. This one's in the shade 25 nude beige um fit pan on him it's all crusty right here because i like pressed powders with a sponge sometimes and it crusts them over which yeah is you got hard thing you just have to scrape off the top hey we're trying to film can you not please and then bronzers that we've hit pan on i i did have my wet and wild ticket to brazil but that who's finished and I have a brand new one that I haven't opened yet. But another one that I love is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Bronzer. This one is in 30 Sun Kissed. This is fan freaking tastic. I love this so much. It's pretty close to MAC Give Me Sun. It's a little more red in tone, but it's yeah. really, it's really good. And then this um, ColourPop Bronzer in Unknown. I think it's California Dreaming. In California Dreaming. Um, we have Tan on. This is more something Vic likes. I'm okay. Like, I like this bronzer. I do. But will I ever reach for it? No, not really. Um, it's just not Mac Give Me Sun or Guerlain Terracotta. I didn't know if it was Guerlain or Guerlain Terracotta, which is cute and all. Um, but this is just, it's good. If you like bronzers, it's good. It's I pretty like warm. It. And then our largest category is highlighters. We hit pan on lots of highlighters. I don't know, a lot of people say that they like I'll never finish up a highlighter. I can only buy mini sizes. Like, I don't, I've never finished up a highlighter, but I've sure panned a lot, so let's get into those. Um, for highlighter palettes, we did hit pan on two of the colors in the BH Spotlight Highlight Palette. This was like my favorite for so long. Um, I'm actually wearing this one today as well. Uh, these two shades are the favorites, as you can tell. Um, the lighter shades are nice for mixing. I don't usually touch this one or this one because they're just a little too deep for me, but these are like really chunky, glittery, delicious highlights so. they're 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 glitter but chic you know yeah they're like so flattering and then the makeup revolution ultra pro glow palette we hit pan on two of the shades in here as well i don't think these have names no this thing is awesome though honestly um it's got every goldish shade you could ever need really and i i think it's really good in formula and i don't think this gets a lot of hype actually so mm -hmm. i really like this one we do have two Maybelline highlights we've hit pan on. The actual highlight is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight in what, Molten Gold? 100 Molten Gold. Um, this is one of the best highlights I've ever tried. I love this highlight so much. It's perfect if you're like medium to deep, I would think. I don't really know if it goes on deep skin tones, if you like gold highlight probably, um, but definitely you gotta be medium. If you are fair, light, run for the hills, no. go with molten rose gold. That one this is one is perfect because it's gold and beautiful and smooth on the skin. And then this little Maybelline, oh, what's the name? <sighs> oh shoot, I know it, Glow Getter? Okay. It's called Glow Getter, I think. So there's this Maybelline single eyeshadow. Um, I, we believe it's in the shade Glow Getter. The packaging is torn off. Um, I haven't used this in probably a year, but this was the highlight oh in the God. summer. So good. You put it on and you're like, mm, who put you on the planet? Uh. <laughs> it's like, it's so good. <laughs> And I guess I'll take the controversial one because I'm the one who did it. <laughs> it's fine. It landed softly, you weenie. Anyway, I guess I'll take one for the team. I like Jeffree Star highlighters. There, I, I said it! 
Ice cold was my favorite for so long and I don't use it. I'm probably blinding you. I don't use it that much anymore. I mean, I still do use it pretty regularly, but I'm not as much into icy highlights. Like I'll use this to top or like as an inner corner, but I don't love it as a face highlight as much anymore because I'm, I'm generally slightly more tan and the one I'm going to show you in a few, you've probably heard of a few times from me and it's not icy, but it's delicious. It hit pan on my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. This Hustler I... Baby. Anywho, um, so this is the Fenty Beauty highlight in Mean Money. In <laughs> Mean Money. Ooh. Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And I, when I first got this, uh, let me tell you a story. So Fenty Beauty launched, you see, and I was like, Fenty. Beauty? Re, re, Rihanna? And I bought like 250 bucks worth of stuff. We decluttered everything but two products from Fenty Beauty. <laughs> um, foundation didn't work. Uh, the stupid cheek stick for the blush was stupid. The cheek stick for the under eyes was stupid. Uh, the brushes were I. I was just stupid. And so... This is what we kept along with the contour stick because that's cute, but I did not enjoy this shade originally. Like I was like, oh, she cute or whatever, but you see it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> but you see it's pink. <laughs> oh man, I'm sweating. Okay, it's pink in the pan and I don't like pink highlights. That's a secret. I don't like pink highlights. I like gold, but it's gold! It's kind of like champagne pop-ish. Yeah. Oh. Let's swatch them. <laughs> Bro! Bro, those are dead on the same highlight! No, well, not the same, but they're very similar. Look at this face. Look at this face. Champagne pop's a little bit darker. They're basically the same highlight, but uh, you can't see nothing no problem. <sighs> that is champagne- wait. Yeah, that is champagne pop. This is hus- Hustle baby. Hustle baby. <laughs> Anywho, love this highlight and while we're at it, I guess we'll talk about champagne. Pop. Um, so I'm wearing this highlight today. You can't tell. I look like a glossy goddess. I powdered my entire face today. Very out of character for me. And then I sweat. So now I look dewy. Uh I forgot how much I love this highlight and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Soulmate by Dose of Colors. I shall not say more, but I will never stop talking. This is the best highlighter I've ever tried. Amen. And last but not least, this is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Another really good highlighter. This one's a little bit smoother than, say, the Maybelline Single Eyeshadow. Um, not as glittery, but just as gorgeous, actually. I think I might like the Maybelline eyeshadow more. I don't know, it's less icy, I think, but. Don't! <laughs> How many things are you gonna drop today, Rachel? <laughs> Anywho, lovely highlighter. If you haven't tried Ofra highlighters, I highly suggest it. Thank you, guys. Come <laughs> back! <laughs> Wow, I should, I should, I should, I should well. Oh my god, we need to be fired. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching our only highlighters we have paid on video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologize for dropping every single thing I touched. And we will please, see you. Please come back. Just please come back. This is a normal. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is another gloomy lotion kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. We will um, actually be better. See you in the next video because this was the funniest video you've ever watched. Bye.